This is Luke's food. Leave a message if you're sexy. <laughs> hey, Luke. I know it's late to be calling, but I was just wondering what you're up to tonight. I was scrolling through my contacts list and thought, hey, I wonder what's happening with Luke. Haven't heard from Luke in ages. Well, not since you broke up with me, I guess. So, give me a call. Ciao. Taylor here. Leave a message at the tone and press hash when you're done. Have a good one. Hi, Taylor. How's things? Well, Taylor, it's just that I thought we could give it another go, you know? You and me? Taylor, I've changed. I'll do whatever it takes to get you back, I promise. I've taken a good hard look at myself and I'm not the person I used to be. I can now play the harpsichord. <laughs> no? What if I took up the flute? Bassoon. Tuba. French horn, piccolo, sousaphone, oboe, cowbell. Hi, Paul here. Leave a message. Hi, sweetie. I know you've got your hands full with the whole jail thing, but... <laughs> you get one call. Why the fuck wasn't it to me? you have called is unavailable. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi! Sorry, I don't want to bother you anymore. I'll give you a space like you wanted. I just wanted to tell you that there are no hard feelings. I've completely forgotten about Jill. Or was it Jane? See, I've completely forgotten. It's in the past now. Just one more thing. You are more important to me than anything else. I can't think of anyone but you. I'm head over heels. I don't eat, I don't sleep, and I know that you could feel the same way if only you saw the real me. I know we hardly know each other, but there's this strange connection. You must feel it too. I know we're meant to be. I'm going to leave the diorama on your front door. I hope the figures don't fall over. I had to use super glue to keep the minister upright. He kept falling into us and knocking over the flowers. I used a paper doily for my wedding dress, but obviously the dress will be an A-line Queen Anne satin and organza with crystal beading cap sleeves and a full train. <laughs>
very compatible. <laughs> They panic and give in. <laughs> I mean, just because it's because it's over doesn't mean it's it's over, right? I mean, we hear about countless blissful couples who went through, you know, a little rough patch or a brief break. We hear about them all the time. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. If at first you don't succeed. <laughs> Um, when, when I sense that a relationship is going downhill, I like to write poetry. <laughs> Beat poetry. <laughs> to uh, try to convey that deep sense of loss and longing, <laughs> with just a hint of sexy desperation. <laughs> um, for this I'm going to need a uh, sexy volunteer from the audience. Um, yes, you sir, up you come. <laughs> Give him a hand. <laughs> Uh, I have my hands full, so uh, if uh, you could help me with my poem, up you come, up you come, don't be shy, don't be shy. <laughs> um, now, where can I place you uh, so that they can, um, if you could just kneel for me. Oh, one knee, oh yes, even better, thank you, I hope you don't do this every Sunday night. Um, one knee is great. Um, now, um, uh, let me see, um, open your mouth. And close. Perfect. <laughs> Don't move a muscle. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask your name. Michael. Oh, my. Michael. Thank you, Michael. So, um, my beat poem. It's very steady, thank you. <laughs> 
to my dearest love. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> Leave me alone. I just need space. Get out of my face. <laughs> Darling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I love you. Uh, it's unpublished. Look, have you ever seen on the street a man and a woman so in love, so perfect, so pure, so divine? It just makes you want to melt. Well, no, neither have I. I don't think they exist, you know? I think they want us to think that it's all roses and, and ponies and Whitney Houston. Mm. <laughs> Couples, you know, they're not really happy, you know? It's all just a sham. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're very sexy. I'll admit, it's a very, very quick slippery side on the world to romance. You know, one minute you're being sent flowers by the man of your dreams, next minute you're cold calling numbers at 10 p.m. on a Saturday night just to get a date out of anyone. We've all been there, right? Show of hands. 